What's up guys, Barry Gaming here today to push some more sea land. Last time we got sea land 18 and 19 down. Hopefully today we can get the final level 20 down. Um, we made a couple adjustments, so just going to go over real quick and make sure we have our gear set up right on our pennies. Enables look good too. Gear looks good. We got Murmur on for the anti-warrior. Uh, we have Sigmund. I'm doing two pieces of six set just to get more HP. The only other thing I was thinking of just changing this just because it's, it's not a good stone. I actually think we might just upgrade. We got plenty of dust. Let's just see what we can get. He needs a higher stone anyway. Okay, that's not a bad one. We'll just leave that for right now. A little less health, I just realized that, but eh, we'll deal with it. It's fine. Uh, we got that set up good to go as well. We have our 10 star Emily. Uh, threw some extra pieces of gear on for extra health. Not going to touch the stone just yet. Really don't want to spend the resources on her. Uh, but that looks good to go. We're going to put her in the back line. This time we have a bleaker. So bleaker, I'm giving energy so that he can get his active attack off at least to have a chance to stun a few targets then of course he has his passive when he dies just more chances at cc so we're giving him energy to hopefully give us a decent chance to cc and then we're just going to throw in the other five star emily sadly we can't upgrade her right now i don't have the fodder for that uh in the long run if we need to if we can't pass it as is we will be leveling her up to 10 star i believe so i think everybody on the lineup is good to go let's jump over to sea land jump in here all right let's check the setup here so we're gonna take you out actually yeah put you back in emily put a bleaker front line slot one penny with the murmurs in the back looks good let's give it a try maybe we'll get super lucky today i really hope so All right, not too bad so far. Active there. We have active from Emily's. Yeah, that one Emily there just gets one shot, so I don't think that's going to help. We might need to give her some energy artifacts. Or not energy, sorry. We might have to level up her stone just so she gets a bit more tanky. Because if she's getting one shot, I mean, that passive of hers just isn't activating. All right, not too bad so far. Sigma's still alive. That's good. Tanks an extra hit. Oh, that penny went down. We need both those pennies to live. We're close, though. I mean, the damage isn't too far off. If that other penny would have lived, I feel like we might have actually taken some of the minions out. The damage just seems to ramp up so much on Sea Land 20. Ah, oh, come on, Penny. You got to crit. If you don't crit, we can't do this. This doesn't look good. Nah, yeah, not even close. All right, next round. Oh, we got one stun for Bleaker. That's okay. I'm surprised we haven't gotten more so far. Man, that attack is just popping shields on pennies immediately. That big AoE attack is so brutal. Oof. I think we might have to go back to the drawing board. Or honestly, it just might take us another month to get the right food, get the right copies to build the ultimate Sealand 20 team for Fortress. Yeah, we're just not getting crits with Penny today either, which is rough. Oh, we got the passive to proc that time. Come on, big damage. Oh, Penny. Penny, you didn't crit. Now you crit, sure. A little too late now. Ugh. So close. Come on, Bleaker. I need you to, like, stun the whole back line for me here. No, you didn't stun anybody. Ugh. And we don't get the active here either. That is rough. This one's not gonna happen. Nope. Not even close. All right. If only we can just get everything to line up. Come on, Bleaker. Get some good CC. Oh, and then she's frozen too. That's horrible. Means she's not going to get her active off. <sighs> we are just getting very unlucky, guys. I feel like this setup, though, should be able to clear it. It just might take days and days of just 10 smashes into it 
to finally get it. And of course, I want to try to... Re oh, we got two stuns. I want to try to record this for everybody so they can at least it see these attempts, but... Okay, not bad. Ooh, he tanked a lot for us. If we get two big hits... Nah, not enough. Close. It's very, very close, guys. We're... Oh... If we can get a better bleaker stun so that Sigmund lives that extra round, it'll be huge. Alright, we got one stun there only. Not great, but it does let Sigmund live one more hit. Ugh, that's not good. Yeah. And then Penny doesn't crit anyway, so it doesn't really help. We do get another round, though. Oh! Guys, we're close. Oh, we got one more smash. So close, though. So close. Yeah, not gonna happen on this one, so. Oh, well. We'll, uh, we'll come back tonight, do a few more after reset, do ten more attempts. Um, I feel like we have a really good chance at this, though. I really do. So we'll see you a little bit later to do more attempts. All right, we are back. We're going to do 10 more attempts at Sealand 20 with Fortress. I really feel like this lineup here has what it takes to actually win. It's just going to take a good CC from Bleaker. And just come on. We just need good CC. That way we don't take as much damage incoming so that Sigmund doesn't proc that unbending as fast. Oh, it might work, especially if Emily gets hit and doesn't get... Oh, that's good. So we proc that. Oh, if both of them could have attacked, I feel like that might have been it. I think that's really what's going to happen too, because having Emily in that three slot instead of the front line means if... We can get some stun so that not everybody attacks in a segment. We'll have one of the, the priest units hit her instead, which will not one-shot her, which will give us a really good chance at actually clearing this. Yeah. Is just going to come down to good old RNG luck. Oh, no. You CC'd yourself again. Yeah, this one's not going to happen. Although, oh yeah, there she goes. She did get her passive off, but we really need her active and her passive to go off to actually have a chance. Ooh, that was close. Come on, guys. Have faith. We got seven attempts. I think we can do it. Not great so far. Okay. Oh, this could be a good chance if they can really crit. Oh, it's just not enough damage, though. Ah, oh, yeah, and the first one went down. If we can get both of those pennies to live for one more attack, I think we have a chance. We just need those pennies, just like before, to crit every single time for three rounds straight. And Bleaker, we need Bleaker to stun at least one, maybe two targets. It seems like the times he at least stuns one person, we have a chance. But when he doesn't stun anybody like this, it, it just, we really don't have a good, and then Penny doesn't crit anyway, so, you know. Ah, no stun again. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. We need that stun basically to just... It changes the the pattern from the enemies to how they hit Sigmund on the front line. There we go. We got one stun there. That's not bad. This might help. Emily, come on. Hopefully Emily... Oh, she has one shot again. Yeah, it's just not enough. Although we just... Oh, man. If only that other one could have lived. Three more attempts. We can do this, guys. I have faith. Come on, Bleaker. Ugh, Bleaker. Oh, we got one from the death. So that's not too bad. Oh, we just need... That's the other part, too. We need the main boss in the back to not hit our 10-star Emily. Because if the boss doesn't one-shot her, the minions definitely put her sub 50%, which we really need that to happen. We just need 
we need like four different RNGs to happen. But if they all line up, we have a chance. All right, there's a ch oh, she still got one shotted, and we already have unbending procs. So this is gonna be a definitely no go here. Ugh. All right, one last attempt for now, guys. Let's give it a go. Man, yeah, there's really no other way I'd put this lineup, I don't think. Actually, you know what? Let's just try this. Emily's active at five star does nothing. Maybe he can get a basic attack off too. I don't know. Let let's just see if this works. Ah, yeah, not gonna work. Actually, I think bleaker slot one is definitely better. Let's just do one more attempt. I want to put bleaker back to where I think he should be on the front line. Swap that back. If only we had something else we could put here. We could use Valentino, but I don't have more energy artifacts, so it doesn't really help. Although, maybe I, I should probably level that. Ooh, we got two suns. I should probably level Valentino, though, still. This looks good. This looks really good. Come on. We still get our shield in the front. Phoenix active. Come on. Big crits. Crit. Crit. Oh. Ooh, are we going to have this? Can she solo him? One more. Oh, no, Penny. You had to crit. Look at that. Okay. One more. I got to do one more. That was that was just too close. I know it's not going to line up good like that again, but... Oh, if only she would have crit. We would have cleared it. Oh, we got two stuns there. That's good. That's really good. That means Sigma's going to be able to tank so many more hits on that front line. But, Emily, no. She did not proc her passive. Okay, come on. Two more big crits. Ugh. All right. Well, for today, we're not going to clear it. That kind of sucks since we were so close. Ugh, guys. All right. Anyway. We're going to do a little bit of Pray for Fire today as well. So let's make sure we're just going to go for full attack setup on Sigmund. Yeah, I guess we could just leave the Lucky Candy Bar. That should be fine. I'm not going to use Amon Ra at first, guys. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try putting Gustin in the front row. See how this works out. I need that energy. Where's that energy at? Let's get the gear off of these guys. Unequip there, unequip there. So, Gustin. All right, let's just throw in energy artifact there. Horus, let's get you set up for all out attack as well. Need to leave Purify on against Kamath though because he will CC. So I think if we leave it like that and use Balance Strike, I don't know if Balance Strike is really worth it on horse, is it, guys? I'm just going to go with Unbending, just as a failsafe. All right, so we're not going to use Amon Ra. Make sure there's nothing on her. That's good. Pennies, we need to change the enables up a little bit to this right here. There we go. And Balance Strike. Let's make sure this Penny goes back to... I'll uh, probably echo a death for this. Yeah, let's use that. Sigmund. Actually, you know what? Probably better for Sigmund. Just use something like this. Gives more attack. Just, you know, not really worried about stun against Kamath anyway. Put Heart Watcher. Heart Watcher, you already got your gear. You're all set. Okay, I think we got what we want. I did actually forget to do Pray for Fire or Flame Shrine yesterday. So our overall damage is not going to be great. I think, yeah, we're, we're down a ways because we missed four actual attempts. So jump in here. We're going to drop you out. Put Gustin in. I think that looks good. Monster's good. Yep. All right. Let's give it a go. All right. I'm hoping he has enough healing to provide that back line. Ooh, Penny. That hurt. <laughs> Maybe we do need Amon Ra. <laughs> My goal was, though, for hit them hitting the back line, you know, to purify some of those uh, those passives off. Or, sorry, not the passives, the CCs off. But it looks like 
Barely keeping Penny alive here. This might be rough. Oof. Don't die, Penny. Okay, she got a little heal there. She gets the end of the round heal from Gustin. Not bad. Oh, you know what, guys? I don't think I changed Sigmund. Did I change his, his enables? I don't think so. Yeah, I think I need to throw Amon Ra back in here. Let's just jump through this. We don't want to watch the rest of this, right? Oh, that was really good damage, though. Wow. Almost 5 billion. Well, all right. We took this account from being very, very bad at PvE. Oh, yeah, see. that That's a huge mistake there. Let's just jump back here. All out offensive. Keep him alive. And I think I'm just going to go back to the Amon Ra. Give you all your gear back. Give you that orb. And let's jump back in it. That's surprising considering the pennies died so early on. And, and we had the wrong enables on, on Sigmund. Did I change horse too? I just cannot remember today, guys. Sorry. Let's just make sure. Yep, you're good to go. That looks good. All right. Not Aspen Dungeon. Guild. Territory. Flame Shrine. There we go. All right. Lineup looks good. All right. Let's jump back into it. The, the penny dying early. The enables not being right. Man, we can probably push pretty high damage with this lineup now, guys. Plus, the other differences, I just realized we did change that stone out. So he has an attack, attack, armor break. So between Kiss a Ghost and his stone. Oh my gosh, what happened to Penny? She died so fast. Wow, she just got annihilated on that back line. I did not expect that at all. Ooh, Sigmund, come on, stay alive. Okay, doing pretty good. Man, I can't believe that one penny went down so fast. Oh, come on, Penny, you got a crit. We need those crits. We need big damage here on this account. We need to take this count from zero to hero when it comes to PvE. I, I just remember, especially, we, we only had a six-star Heart Watcher. We didn't have a Sigmund. It, it was, well, we had a ten-star Sigmund. Nothing that could really handle the damage like in here, but... With just those two changes, that guys, that's why your support heroes are so important in PvE. All right, let's slow this down. Oh, no crit there. All right, 75 or 73 million. Not, not, not great, but not horrible. 33 across the board there. Ooh, 73. Oh, 97, Sigmund. That's why I love you. Oh, that counterattack damage, too, from Sigma is just huge. All right, let's just end this fight. See what we ended up with. All right, not bad. A little lower, but I think that's because Penny went down so early on. Yeah, I mean, Penny should have been up here, essentially. So what's that, another another billion? Yeah, that would have been that would have easily beaten our mark last one, at least. So let's jump in. We got two more attempts. See how far we can push this. And again, the one reason probably why Penny didn't stay alive is she managed to not crit, I bet. Oh, that's unlucky. Both of them CC'd. There we go. Crits, crits gives us a little extra healing. Amon Ra will put shields on for the next round, so that'll help heal them back up. Hopefully Phoenix doesn't hit this front line that often with her buffs. Ugh. As you know, guys, every time a Phoenix hits you with 80%, it stacks. So the more Phoenix buffs you get throughout these, the fight, it just adds up from 80% to 160% and upwards. So if you're getting four actives, five actives, that's a lot of extra damage in the late rounds. We're already doing better than last time, though. Both pennies are healthy as healthy can be. And the one nice thing with this fight is you, even if you have a low Heart Watcher, you can just throw in the front line and never have to worry about her getting hit. 
Okay, that penny's getting a little weak. We got a new level layer of shield though. And oh, that crit. You see that? Went from about here straight up to 100%. Ah, oh, so one thing I miss with my scary is even just basic attacks just fill the health bar up so easily. All right, we have a Phoenix active here. Let's slow it down, see some damage in round 12. Ooh, 100 million, 115. Oh, and then of course, you just had to, you had to kill our momentum, huh, Penny? You just couldn't let us enjoy it. Penny crit, the 39, that was a little weak just because no Phoenix buff there. Let's see, we'll get one more for round 15. There's no actives really, but for Penny, that doesn't really matter. Oh no, we wasted two of them on the front line. That sucks. Oh well. <laughs> and then Pennies don't crit at all. Well, wasn't that a boring round? <laughs> Alright, we still beat it though. I mean, hell. We're doing some really good damage here. Horus, Horus and Sigmund are just rocking it. I love those two guys. All right, so let's see where we're at. Oh, we already took over first place as well. Guys, imagine if we didn't miss a full day. We would have been just destroying it here. All right, one more attempt. Everything still looks good. Let's see. What we get? 5.3 billion? Let's see if we can get like 5.5. Come on, guys. Penny, we just need you to crit. Just crit and stop being horrible. Ooh, that penny's getting hit a bunch. I hope. Yep, yeah, good crit. Both of them. Both crit. Heals right back up. Perfect. Man, I just really wish I could get this this boss on the scary account where I have the two Garuda copies. I want to see what type of damage she can put up with faction advantage. It should be huge. I know I've seen some screenshots of Garuda doing like six billion by herself. So if you have two of them in there, that would be. It'll be crazy good damage. And something a lot more attainable than having a full scary lineup, right guys? <laughs> Phoenix active. Only hit Heart Watcher, not bad. It's just rough those rounds. Phoenix hits both front targets. Come on, Penny. We need you to heal. Good heal. Yep, two back to back, Chris. Nice. All right, Phoenix active. Hit Amon Ra with one, but the other three hit damage. Ooh, 79. 136, nice. Man, oh no, Sigmund. You went down. All right, let's just speed it back up. We'll slow it down again for round 15 when we have a Phoenix active. All right, slow it down. Check out the damage numbers here. Ooh, that was a big ol' hit. 36, ah, Penny. Penny, Penny. It's gonna hurt us, though, not having Sigmund alive in that last round. Yeah, back down to 4.6. Oh, you just lost so much damage there. This Penny, though, I mean, this Penny does have Punisher, so it's very, very good, whereas this one only has Echo. Not amazing, but, I mean, you guys see overall, we only did two days with this lineup. So only eight attempts out of 12, and we still got 33 billion, almost 34 billion, which I mean, these guys' teams aren't nothing to laugh at. This is just really good damage, so. Actually, you know, let's do one more thing real quick. We do have some more badges built up for broken spaces. Let's see how this is gonna do. I think we're gonna leave this same lineup as is. Heart Watcher will probably die early. I mean, it's just gonna happen. Let's see how this does though. We've made a lot of improvements to our team since we tried it last time. And I think before we were only taking off about 1% per attack. We just need to get lucky and make sure Aspen does never, never target Heart Watcher with his active. Because it'll just annihilate her if she doesn't have an Amon Ra shield on. This is the weak round right here. Nobody die. Okay. Oh, no, Sigmund. Ugh. All right, well, I mean, it's still not bad. We're in round five. The Amon Ra, of course, helps immensely. And we lost Horse, too. That's going to be a lot of damage lost. Amon Ra, just live this round, please. All right, 
She got an active off, so at least those guys are kind of shielded for one more round. Penny crit away, come on. Alright, she healed back up. That should get her another round at least. Heal up, heal up. Good, good. If they can just keep healing... Oh, that's bad. Bye-bye, Penny. Yep. <laughs> if they crit every round, though, they should be able to self-sustain themselves, though. It, it just... They have to crit every single round. The second they miss a round, they're just dead. Okay. Not bad. We almost got a billion. For this type of lineup, it's great. I mean, I wish I, we had a, a Dark Arthendal, but... That's not bad. A billion a round is just about 1% a fight. I mean, not bad. Let's just do one more. We'll do one more. Watch it. Hopefully, Sigmund can live maybe a little longer. I think, honestly, for Sigmund, I should put Unbending Will back on. Just because he doesn't really... He doesn't really do much damage with his crits. It's all about that passive burn damage with him. So, he never gets those big heals. It might be better to give him Unbending. Where, if it procs, he has a chance to get Amon Ra Shield and heal back up. It, probably better, yes. Yeah, there he goes again. Although, it's hard to say. Let's just skip this one. See what the damage looks like. Almost a billion again. Yep. Let's go change Sigmund real quick. Back over to Unbending. Let's do that. Jump in and give it a couple more fights. Looks good. Go. And really comes down to a guy's like just Penny needs to crit every single round like I was saying. Early on, maybe not just because you still have Amon Ra around. But the second Amon Ra dies, which she usually does at some point in this fight, you have to be able to sustain yourself. Heart Watcher going down, that is going to hurt a lot for our damage. Sigmund, you're doing decent. Horus, you're looking pretty weak right about now. Lost a Penny. Yeah, it's not going to be great damage, is it, guys? No point watching, right? Yeah. Not great. Not great at all. Sub 1 billion every time. I mean, if we wanted to spend... Oh, wait, let's see. We would need about 90 more badges. If we wanted to do something like that just for rewards, it would be... Let's just do this. 4,500. So... Really, I mean, I don't have many gems on this account, so you kind of have to weigh the odds of these resources here. What is this worth to you? 4,500 gems. Not a ton when you consider what the gem boxes cost. It's a lot of resources. A lot. Plus, you also have to think of monthly carnival. You're going to be getting all of these as well. So between the two, is it worth it to spend 4,500 gems? Just to do beat, uh, Broken Stage 7? I mean, I think so. I might decide to do that. We have plenty of time. And we might just wait until our team gets a little stronger. And then if we have to, at the very end, buy those. But, I mean, it's a lot of resources. Hell, even the dust alone. 17,000 dust. You come over here and look what they're trying to give you in the chest. The chest here, half of that, for the same price, essentially. Yeah, you get a 5-star Elite. Who cares? It's going to be like a Gru or a Bade, right, guys? Plus, you get exclusive artifact shards. You get eight feathers total, gems, and universal crystals. So you can buy more pay-to-win artifacts. So it's something you really have to think about and decide. I think I will on this account because we should still be getting more gems from the Black Friday card for the rest of the week. But, yeah, overall, I mean, I think this right here, Broken, uh, sorry, Seal Land 20, it should only take... Maybe a week tops to actually clear it. I'll re try to record every night just to make sure we have that kill clear recorded. But uh, I think I might just turn it into a super cut and not kind of bore you guys every single day with the same stuff over and over. So I'll make sure I record everything. I might just do a voiceover and not actually record my voice while doing it. But anyway, the other thing to look forward to today is we should have our scary broken spaces clear out as well. Again, we're doing like a, a little challenge every month from here on out to see how fast we can clear broken spaces. I mean, yeah, I just kind of thought of it. We could wait one more week for those aura buffs. That's a possibility. Scary lineups are going to be getting about, I think it's a little over 10% more attack with precision as well. Maybe we should do that. What do you guys think? 
Leave in the comments, should I do scary tonight so you guys get a second video today? Or do you want me to save that until next weekend for when the auras come out? I mean, I feel like that would make the clears a lot faster, but let me know what you think. And in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great one.